Hey, my beautiful Gemini's, welcome to Zebra Tarot. You are now in the Zebra Tarot Lounge. And if this found you, or if you found this, chances are there are messages in here for you. My intentions are that these readings reach exactly whomever, whichever wild animal that they need to reach at exactly the right times that they need to reach you for the best and highest good of everyone involved. We are right now going home to the kingdom, queendom of heaven within, within you, within myself, within each and every one of us wild animals. Jesus himself said the kingdom of heaven is within. It's not out there, up, down. It's all within. We have now stepped into, or we are now stepping into the age of Aquarius and where we're going is beautiful beyond words. This new earth, it's higher dimensionally. It's moving from this very dense, heavy, fear-based reality with a lot of lack, suffering, illusions, things like that. And it's moving to this very pure, happy, abundant, love-based reality. Perfect love casts out all fear. The purest of love, the brightest light, we're all becoming childlike again. And we're going to be able to play, to create, to laugh, to love, to have an abundance of everything good. And if you're watching this, if this found you on your path, just know that you are on your way. All right, with that being said, I'm not really sure what's going to come out, but uh, we'll just go ahead and jump into it. We'll pull some cards and we'll see what's going on. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, I so I like. Thank you uh, for my beautiful Gemini's here watching. Uh, my wild animals may have some cards, please. Just a couple cards for let us know what's going on for the week ahead for them, whatever they need to know for the best and highest good. Uh, switch decks real quick. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angel, Slice My Life. I have a card piece uh, from my beautiful Gemini's. What do they need to know for the week ahead? Yeah, I went flying all the way on the floor. 2 2 2 on the clock. Oh my goodness, as I said, 2 2 2, 10 of cups. This is the Ten of Cups. This is your personal ultimate emotional fulfillment, satisfaction, whatever it is for you. We all have our own unique hopes, dreams, wishes, and desires placed inside of us by the creator of all that is. They are meant to be expressed, to be experienced. Whatever it is that lights you up inside like a Christmas tree and has you Feeling like a kid again. We are becoming childlike again to enter this kingdom of heaven within. Not only having that childlike faith, unshakable faith, unbreakable faith, just knowing that they're taken care of, that the universe provides for them, and that, but also using your imagination. That is literally how we create. And when we grow up, the world's like tells us to stop using our imaginations, and we do. We sort of put that aside. But we're all going back to that now. Holy Spirit. Uh, my bad y'all trying to stick these cards in here real quick. Like really don't want to go in. Y'all may be feeling some energy right now, some blockage, like trying to fill in some resistance. That's really what I felt right there, like strong resistance. Um, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, the highest white light. I have another card piece from a beautiful Gemini's. I'm not really sure if that's supposed to come out. Ten of Swords, it could be, I'll put it back, it comes back out as meant to be. Uh, maybe this Ten of Cups is after this Ten of Swords. Um, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, Eyes, White Light. I have a card piece from my beautiful Gemini's watching that everything needs to know for the week ahead. All right, beautiful Emperor, this is you sitting on your throne and taking charge of your own life. Gender does not matter, just energy, masculine or feminine. This is someone who is in charge, who knows their power, who is not ruled over by outside external circumstances, but rules over their kingdom, their queendom. Their, they're very fertile, very abundant. You are infinite. There's a whole entire 
universe inside of you. You are a piece of all that is experiencing all that is. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, Light, Spotlight. I have a card, please do. Uh, another card, please do my beautiful Geminis. Alright, Nine of Swords flipped out. Um, very much so like that Ten of Swords. It's just this fears, anxieties, negative thoughts. Um, maybe you've experienced a lot of cruelty. Um, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, Ties, Well, I may have a card, please, for the overall energy for my beautiful Geminis, for whoever's watching. Whatever it is that they need to know for the weekend. Uh, Ace of Pentacles, I love it. This is uh, overall energy of a brand new beginning for you. All right, so I like these cards. This is beautiful. So um, with the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords coming out, showing themselves um, to me, I feel like this is, and the Ace of Pentacles is the overall energy. I'll start with the Ace of Pentacles. This is telling me that you're getting a brand new financial, probably. Pentacles are very tangible, earthly based things. Of getting with this fresh, beautiful, new start for you, very practical, earthly matters. Maybe you had to start over to let go of everything, to move, basically leave a home let go of all your worldly possessions, things like that, and completely start over. Maybe um, because you were leaving a situation that was putting 10 swords in your back that was like completely just hitting you like a train. Maybe there's a lot of cruelty, whatever it was, there's a lot, maybe since this has happened, maybe you've had a lot of fear and anxiety and things like that and stuff actually I think the reading I uploaded a week ago for y'all was actually talking about y'all um, possibly leaving a relationship that you had been in for a very long time that you had to be strong in, where there, I was really getting there was no love there. You were trying your best. You were being guided, you know, trying to follow, follow your North Star, trying to, you know, pray, seek, find your way through it and stuff, trying to do the right thing. Um, I think that's what's going on here. Yes. Um, so if y'all actually left or whatever, maybe you're uh, still having a lot of fears, anxieties, things like that. Having to start over physically, financially, whatever it may be, having to let go of all your possessions and things like that to walk away. It's easy to look at that and to be fearful of that and things like that. or you change your perspective just a little bit and shift it what's really happening here is you're getting a new beginning a fresh start free of all those memories those energetic ties from those possessions things like that and stuff as we go home to this beautiful new earth this kingdom of heaven within i'm getting called to say to that the meek shall inherit the earth the beatitudes in matthew and uh you might want to watch that to uplift you to encourage you um Spirit, help me, help me here. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, as we go home to this kingdom of heaven within, so what's, there's a verse in Revelation that says, to him who sits on the throne, all things are being made new. So as we go home, we cannot take certain things with us. Everything that's old is, that's not for us, is being broken down as all this light pours in as we ascend we're finally being able to see through the darkness and to find our way and things like that and exposing all the cracks and the crumbling foundations and things like that so whatever just fell apart in your life may be a little scary but all things are being made new for you for well everyone every wild animal but this is just part of that process that you're going through. Have a beautiful new beginning, new fresh start here. 
you are finally I'm getting after years or it doesn't have to be years this could be you know we're all one body playing you know um, out these things in our own unique ways on our own unique timelines but Whoever you are watching, you have stepped into the emperor position on your life. Uh, I said after being, perhaps having to take a back seat to play sort of like this NPC, this non-playable character. Um, you know, maybe just taking orders and being quiet and things like that, and just uh, feel, not feeling like you're in control of your life anymore. This is you finally sitting on your throne, taking charge of your life, becoming getting in the driver's seat of your life again, of your personal sovereignty. And this is leading you to, again, that kingdom of heaven within you. Uh, I believe the same card came out and I, that reading I did for y'all a week ago, this Ten of Cups with the rainbow, whatever that is for you, whatever it is that there's that dream inside of you, something that you've always desired that you never gave up on, that you've probably been trying to pray for and holding on whatever it was that you let go of and holding on for years probably you never gave up you've always believed and you still will have it holy spirit guardian angels lies white light may have uh any last cards for my gemini's anything to clarify any further details that they need to know for the week ahead anything that will help them encourage them uplift them motivate them inspire them whatever it is to be uh they have a card please just to give them a heads up for any energies any surprises anything that you might need to know about for the week ahead there's very guardian angels so i swear light I'm reading the cards very intuitively today, just based off of the pictures of what I see. Um, but with the Eight of Pentacles here, and the Prudence. The universe is giving her low hanging fruit that she could pluck off the tree and their hearts. I'm getting kind of like that manna from heaven. The universe is giving you, filling up your basket full of hearts, whatever it is that you need right now. getting low hanging fruit whatever it is that you need it is being delivered to you this week absolutely and always not even just this week but the universe isn't just going to have you start over without providing for you and you know the devil all that is going to try to get us to be afraid and to spiral and to uh get angry and to feel like we're not gonna make it and things like that but it's all an illusion the devil is a liar the fear of false evidence appearing real we are transformed by the renewing renewing of our minds as a man woman or wild animal thinks in their heart so are they um so It's, it takes spiritual discipline and prayer and things like that as, uh, to conquer our minds, to quiet down so that we could hear that still a small voice within so that we can see the blessings all around us. It's our job to stand up to that devil inside and that's trying to get us to be afraid, to fear, to lack, things like that, and tell it to shut up and tell it that we are divine, that we are perfect, protected, perfected, that wanted to come out for some reason. The universe is delivering what you need, these hearts to, these pentacles, whatever, low hanging fruit for you to grab. It's gonna be okay. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, Zai, Sweat Light, any last final, let's switch this deck again real quick. The last, last final messages for my beautiful Geminis, for whoever is watching. Whatever it is they need to know for them week ahead best in high good a 
Again, uh, I'm reading the cards just intuitively today based off of the pictures, what I'm seeing and feeling within. Um, but this, with the Five of Swords here, normally this could be insurmountable obstacles and things like that, fighting, cruelty, all that. Um, but really what I'm seeing here is this is you holding your sword actually two of them and everyone else that feels like their swords have been thrown down and they're walking away they're leaving the fight i feel like this is you finally gaining that victory over the lions the enemies in your life they've sort of surrendered they've thrown down their swords and they're walking away you may be a little bit defensive because you know you got the two swords you know one ready to fight one ready to defend but that's to be expected with everything that you're going through right now. You are victorious. You are loved. You are guided. You are protected. You are multi-dimensional spiritual being having a right now temporary human experience. Our divinity was hidden from us. But now that we're already in or stepping into now the age of Aquarius, your divinity, all of that is coming to light and beautiful, beautiful, beautiful things coming for you. You are Ten of Cups, you are Rainbow, you are Kingdom of Heaven, Queendom of Heaven within. It says you walking straight towards that rainbow right now. That is literally, you may not be able to fully see it yet, but you are literally stepping, walking, running towards that right now. This is literally the end of the road for you. This is where this destination journey ends for you. It's beautiful, I love you so much. I am still giving away free personal readings. If you would like one, my email is in the description box below. And uh, yeah, sending you all a lot of love. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching and I appreciate all my wonderful, lovely new subscribers as well. I'm really happy to see that these readings are reaching y'all and resonating as well. Also too, for some reason, I just kind of arranged the cards like, um, kind of like a U shaped or whatever. And with the Emperor sliding right down into that U and it completes it, like makes a square. I think that's symbolic of you be, when, now that you become the emperor of your life, again, taking back control. That's been the missing puzzle piece in your life and now everything is locking into place. Not locking in like a bad way, like, but just clicking into place, taking on that full cube shape or whatever that sort of like leads to the completeness or whatever, the missing puzzle piece uh, in your life. Now everything can come together beautifully for y'all. Okay, I'm here for y'all if you need anything. My email again is in the description box below. Let me know what you want, what you need, and I'll be happy to be there for you.